back to Alpine Garage. My name is Chris. I am your host here. We are in the garage today talking about Coach Prime, but doing it in a way that only we do. I have had probably no less than 15 comments asking when I'm going to review Coach Prime's new toy. And I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because folks that watch this channel know my passion for motorcycles and trucks specifically, but cars in general. The fact that the University of Colorado players and coaches have blessed me with their new vehicles for me to fawn over essentially is just epic. So yes, indeed, we are going to review Coach Prime's new toy right now. So let's get started. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, we normally talk about football, but we like to have fun as well. If you're a car person and you like this stuff, hit the subscribe button. We'd love for you to join us on this journey. We're going to be going to the games this year and bringing you some exclusive footage. All right, Coach Prime. So if you have not really paid attention to Coach Prime over his history, he's always been a car guy. And then his college stint in coaching has been really phenomenal. And then his coming to Colorado has essentially made Colorado explode. If that weren't enough, the fact that he is a car guy is just uh, it's just one more thing that I love about Coach Prime. His long history of cars include Impalas, for instance, 60s Impalas. He has a 60s Lincoln Continental with suicide doors convertible that I remember a video a long time ago of him talking about how he used to drive Junior around in it or Bucky and that someone had told him that that came from JFK. You know, vintage cars like that just really kind of get me going. Plus the fact that his relationship with Ford, obviously you see a Jeep sign there. You don't see the Ford sign there, but I'm a Jeep and a Ford guy, but I'm primarily a Ford guy. And he's had several Ford trucks and Ford vehicles as well. And, you know, he even has a smart car. I don't know if you knew that or not, but he's got one of those little smart cars with 21 on it, which is just amazing. The fact that he enjoys all kinds of vehicles is, is just fun for me. And the fact that he went huge on this one is even better. So in this particular case, he has decided, being from Dallas, Texas, because this vehicle, this vehicle belongs in Dallas, Texas. I'm going to tell you that right now. So it's a 2023 Ford F650 super truck. Now I'm going to call it a super diesel because this super truck, this F650 standard comes with a massive V8 gasoline engine, but Prime bought it with the 6.7 liter diesel. Now, the nice thing about the diesel is you get the big side stacks on the side. So that, that, that is awesome. It has 725 foot pounds of torque at a minimum. It has that. And it, when you take a look at it, and we'll go around the vehicle a little bit, but when you take a look at it, it's a dually, obviously, because it's an F650, that's converted to a single wheel back. So that rear wheel is massive. And it also makes it a lot more drivable on the road. I doubt that Prime is going to tow a lot with it, but I want to think in the back of my mind that the reason why he bought this truck was to tow Ralphie down to TCU and release onto the field pre-game just to piss TCU off. That would be epic. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Don't start that rumor. Now, this F650 was customized by Autoplex Customs, and you may have seen these vehicles around because like Shaquille O'Neal had one very similar to it. A lot of celebrities have really kind of taken to these big, super massive trucks. These vehicles range from probably around 100,000. I'm assuming this was probably more on the 150,000 or better because of the way that it's spec but it's got these massive oversized bumpers on it, front and rear. It's got 22 inch wheels with 42 inch rubber. These are 42s folks. I don't know if you understand how big a 42 is, but it would clear the door sill on a normal car. The wheel, their tire by itself would clear the door sill where the window starts just by itself on a lot of cars. And being a diesel, it's got two massive side tanks on it to kind of give it that really beefy look. You know, we talked about the fact that it's a dually conversion to a single tire. And it's got all the amenities on it that a normal F650 would have. And keep in mind that an F650, it's a big work truck. So it's got onboard air. In Colorado, and I don't know if he's going to bring it up here, in Colorado, onboard air is really popular for off-roading. So if he wanted to take that on some basic roads outside of Boulder there, which by the way, Prime, I can show you where those are. We would air down those tires a little bit just to take out the undulations in the trail and get better traction. When you get done, you can air those tires back up before you hit the road. 
But onboard air is a really cool, a really cool piece in these industrial trucks. Now, the reason why I think he loves this truck so much is the interior of the truck. It's been modified significantly from an electronics package. So he has tons of electronics in it, but then you look at the actual interior of it, and I'm telling you, those seats look like you could sleep in them for days. So they're wide, wide captain's chairs with uh, soft leather in it. The back seat looks awesome. And you could probably just cruise in that thing for days with that S650 with those giant tanks. You could probably go from Dallas to Boulder without even filling up. And the fact that it's triple black. And then, of course, you have to put the Prime logo on the front of it, which he does on a lot of his vehicles. He either puts it on the front or he paints it inside the doors or something like that. But there's always Prime or Prime Time or something in there to kind of designate his vehicles, which makes it a really nice personal touch. I gotta come up with a logo for my car so I can like do that too. I don't know what I would do. Alpine? I have no idea. Alpine with a little ski on it? I, I don't know. Now here is the question. Here's the million dollar question. I think he, he took delivery of this. This vehicle was actually out of Dallas, out of Louisville, I believe. And my impression is, is that it's probably going to stay in Dallas, Texas. But if you wanted to bring it to Boulder, I would tell you this, it would stick out. Boulder is a very green city, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know some things if you didn't already know about Boulder. But Boulder is a very liberal green city. And the majority of the cars in Boulder are uh, low emissions vehicles or they're electric vehicles. And that's why I was talking about Bucky's Corvette. Those kinds of things you don't see a ton in Boulder. I mean, it's not like a little island unto itself, but it's just, it leans towards that more green aspect. So when you see Coach Prime rolling coal down Broadway, going to, going to work, that would be an interesting sight to see in Boulder is all I'm saying. But if he were to bring it out here, I would want to review it. So if anybody gets this to Coach Prime, I want to review your new truck when and if you bring it to Boulder. I think that would be great. And I would even take you on some trails right outside. Nothing big, nothing tough, but just so you could get it dirty and get some pictures in the mountains with it and stuff like that. I think that would be awesome. But that's a wrap from Alpine Garage Sports. Tell me in the comments what you think of his truck. If you were from Colorado, tell me how this truck fits into our Colorado atmosphere, especially in Boulder. And what vehicle is next for him? Obviously, he has an affinity for Ford because he's got a relationship with Ford. He just got a new Ford Navigator. And also, the University of Colorado has a relationship with Ford. So it's Ford's all the way around, guys. What's going to be the next vehicle? Could it be a Bronco similar to the one that I have? Maybe a Bronco Raptor. I'm telling you right now, Ford, you need to get on this. Uh, with all the other Colorado players kind of sporting their Fords around, this just seems like a superstorm for Ford and great job to Ford for this marketing campaign. You guys are going to get a ton out of this. That is a wrap from Alpine Garage Sports. We will see you in the next video. And if you haven't already heard, we coming.